Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff of Things. Dan here, of course. Hopefully you recognize me by now. Hope you're enjoying the new setup. It's pretty comfy, you know, I, I like it. It's chill, it's relaxed. I was perusing the interwebs, looking for something, you know, interesting to talk about, because that's what we like to do here, talk about interesting things. And I stumbled upon an article about one of the weirdest creatures on this planet, or rather, in the ocean. Um, it's called the Hagfish. It's been showed on a few uh, different shows. I've seen it on something. I don't remember what it was, QI or something. Anyways, it's this, not a fish, even though we call it a fish. We call things fish, even though not fish, even though fish aren't like classification, because they're like not even the same genus. Long story short, basically, it's this wormy looking thing, invertebrate. It does have a kind of a hard skull thing. It feeds on things, you know, basic, normal, fishy kind of stuff, underwater stuff. They're all scavengers down there. But what it, the most interesting property about it is that when it is threatened, its big flowy body will emit these strands and mucus. Basically, when it contacts the seawater, it makes this ridiculous amount of goo. Like, it's just so much. The thing is only like a foot long on average. They can get bigger, but they're only like a foot long on average. And it just makes liters and liters of this goo. And so, like, a shark is like, and then the thing's like, blah, 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 and then. Just goo everywhere. Gobs and gills, if it doesn't go away, it's gonna suffocate. Kinda cool, kinda weird, kinda gross, but one of the interesting properties about it is that the goo itself, like I said, it's, it's uh, mucus and it's these strands, these fibrous strands, actually apparently very similar to uh, silk spider strands. What they're looking at is actually and trying to work out how to manufacture these silk, these strands because they're much simpler a molecule than the spider silk strands so it'll probably be easier to actually manufacture in large quantities and apparently looking at all sorts of applications in regards to clothing making it everything you know stretch pants yoga pants made of a headfish mucus awesome we can upwards the body armor uh, replacing all of our the, you know the way we make body armor now with this interesting material we're gonna either breeding it in like farms and stuff like we do now with other types of fish or modifying a bacteria to produce the exact same strand. It, everything's kind of up on the table here. Again, it interesting how we end up going to such extremes to even find these kind of resources. What's wrong with just like mass producing the silk thing? Is, is, is that really like such a limited thing? Are their territory they can survive in so small? Is the end for something like this? I thought synthetics were gonna be taking care of this. Like I thought that was kind of the point. Is, we move on the synthetic fibers and then we keep going on, but apparently we just keep going back to nature and we keep finding these ridiculous things and we're like, oh, this thing, it's gross. Uh, hagfish has been noted, you know, for a long time as being an interesting creature. And then, hey, look at this, another thing came up. This interesting creature had these unique properties that allow us, you know, to exploit them and do awesome things like make clothing out of a fish's weird, eely things do. Ugh. This in mind, and we could be seeing hagfish clothing coming out at who knows when. Now, would you guys wear pants made from hagfish mucus? After you, of course, check out a video of them being gross, because it's, it's weird. Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like what we've seen, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stuff and things. And hey, that's the show. Check us out later in the week.